Welcome back to um, hello, hey, welcome back uh, to VVVV. Um, I'm sorry I'm going to have to narrate again over my play because um, I tried to alter the um, the sound and the music, the, the sound to make it like a little softer than a previous one, but I just I just wasn't able to do it. I I went outside of the game and then I I changed the sound settings within Windows uh, via the volume control. But then it didn't work. The recording software I had still picks up uh, the game at full volume, so I'm sorry. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do this double narration again. Because if you if you listen very carefully, you can actually hear my voice in the background. All right. So this is the part. This is part two. Uh, VVV is like a little indie game. It's from a while back actually, and it, but it's quite unique in uh, that I'm not sure if VVV did it first. Uh, but uh, instead of it's a platforming game style, but instead of jumping up and up and down, or, uh, instead of jumping like you would normally in a platformer, you can uh, you know you can change gravity. So you change gravity, so you fall up and you fall down. I call it flipping. You flip, you flip upside down and flip uh, back. Let's see, you change gravity like that. So I'm exploring now a little bit of the world map to try and find out uh, where I'm supposed to go because you have like a, a world map to, ex uh, to explore but it's per frame so it's it's not that it's simple to explore and check out and for example you can't jump over small pieces like that so you have to jump all the way up and jump all the way down uh, so keeping track requires uh, extensive use of your map and I, I really do recommend you uh, check your map often. Uh, so I'm gonna try it again. No, <laughs> I have to do it again. See, it's not so simple. Right to the left. There we go. I'm not entirely sure where this is. So I'm checking now. See, if you go high enough up, then you go, you come out at the bottom of the map as well. So um, you just have to be aware of that. That the map is stitched together. Uh, first breakthrough was the creation of the inversion plane, which creates a mirrored dimension beyond a given event horizon. That's just in a safe point, which helps you teleport around the map, so instead of having to explore all, all of it. I was having a bit of trouble here. I can't actually remember how long this took. See, if you look at the world map carefully, you'll see it's quite, it's, it's quite confusing. So, I just recommend taking it plane by plane and then just checking your map off because that is a that's a checkpoint. So if you die, you can come back there. So there's all the uh, crew members that I've rescued so far. Oh yeah, you have to rescue the crew members. And they're in different areas of this world map. Um, if you go to the right area, like I've been here before, but I'm not sure if I went down here. So I'm going to go down here now. And I think this is another stage. So you have different stages. Because the stages and the stages are... Yeah, there's another stage here. Dear, yeah, it's this one, it's the tower. So this stage is um, every stage is a little bit different. Uh, has a different platforming mechanic. Wow, that well there. Um, so the, this one, it's the it's the tower. The there's spikes are on on the bottom and spikes on top of the the screen. So if you touch the top of the screen and then touch the bottom of the screen, you will die, and then you have to do it over again. Um, and uh, of course the screen moves 
This is not every every level, this is just this one. I make it. Oh, yes. Got the checkpoint, so then it resets, yeah. And then here I think is a trinket, but it's tricky to get. So I tried to I tried to get it and then I, I realized you have to land with like one leg on top of that small strip. I don't know if you can see it with your left with the spikes there. And you can maybe see it. Yeah, see if you go too fast to the top then it then it uh, kills you and if you go too slow then the bottom kills you. You can see that small strip there. And I think I realized it then and I decided to, to, to skip it. Nope, no I tried again, I was not <laughs> I decided not to give up yet. And, oh yeah, there, I think I must have realized it there. And I said, oh come on, this. I was slow young, I'm telling you. Wanted that trinket. The trinkets, like, yeah, see, I think there I figured it out. Um, no, I didn't figure it out yet. See, there I did it properly, but then you have to go left and then dodge in a really tiny gap. Yeah, there I decided to leave it on the right yet again for a trinket. The tr all the trinkets though is if you get in a couple of them, then they give you access to some of the songs that are already in the game and then you can play them when you're in the ship area, which is your starting area. Um, for or just as a jukebox music selection. But it isn't that really special, it's just more bragging rights than anything. It's something just to collect. It's just a collectible. Because um, some of them are quite difficult to find. That's probably one of the hardest to find. Because the whole stage is moving and it's it's very precise if you, if you move off you, you won't make it. Um, if you're wondering well, like whether this is my first time playing it, no, I have finished the game before. Uh, but it was a while, it was a while ago. It was a while ago. So I have I have some experience. My some latent flipping abilities do shine now and again. But uh, sometimes, yeah, I, I let myself down because the controls are quite they're sensitive, and there is a slight delay when you when you flip, and there is also some momentum that you can build in the game. So it's not, for example, like there walking here is actually not so easy as you might think. Because uh, you have to be tap your uh, control stick. Because otherwise you move too much. Okay, and there's the end. Though. But what I what I liked about this this game also is it's not it's not gruelingly long. The game is is it's it does what it you know wants to do, being an interesting platformer. And uh, and then it's quite short. It's not very long. Like in this, in this, uh, in the previous playthrough, I think it was like uh, what, 15 minutes, and then this one is 40 minutes, and then I complete the uh, complete the game in yeah, roughly about two hours. So it's not it's not that long and it's not that big, but it's it's definitely it's very interesting. At the short <laughs> at the uh, at the short time that it you know that it has. That it introduces itself, it uh, it keeps things interesting for the uh, the time that you have. Oh, this is this is the worst part. I'm sorry. I have to apologize ahead of the time because this is uh, this this is the hardest part of the whole game. It's really difficult. I have to survive for a couple of minutes. You don't. Um, if you die, your settings like your time is saved, but only I think by increments of five minutes. I think you have to every five or five. I mean five seconds or five minutes. I want Earth. Like every five. See every five seconds. Then so you have to survive at least for five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. Five seconds. You know for the whole. But yeesh man, this part is so difficult. It's really hard because those um the top and the bottom ones bounce you automatically. Uh, So, uh, so you just have to it's just timing and just movement, but it's it's very difficult because as you'll see, this is okay, but then that's fine. We'll just wait for it, and you'll see. It gets ridiculous and because this pattern changes 
so many times it's hard to it's very hard to predict. Right. And if you go too much left you come out at the right, stuff like that. Like this one. <laughs> you know, like look at that. I mean you can see. <laughs> it's almost like no space for you to land. If you go up is one, if you go at the bottom is another one. And like I said, the predict the prediction of the pattern is probably the hardest because it keeps changing. Like every every time the see so now I sort of got it down and then then it changes again. Too fast, it's too fast. Just make it slow. The game also confirmed this is where I died the most, like this area. But I mean, it's it's sort of inevitable that you're going to do it. You can sort of consider this the boss of the game. Um, because all the other all the other parts are, are manageable, but this is you just have to die. Yeah, this is quite ridiculous. Ooh. Wow, I showed some skill there. Because this is hard to do, man. Okay, but don't worry, it's almost over. Nope, almost. See, you need to survive for five seconds. I only figured that out later. I was just trying to. Oof. Sorry, bear with me here. I do make it. I, I do make it. It's just there we go. Yes. A little bit more. A little bit more. No. Okay. Don't worry. See, so there's a white arrow at the oh. top that shows you. Yeah. There's a white arrow at the the, the right that shows you. Again, let's go again. No, thank you. I feel dizzy. Shame. There's a right arrow at the left and right that shows you where the the pieces are going to come from, but I mean they help very little because it's really quick. It's really quick. But anyway, again, it's not that bad because. Um, okay, this is the ship where all your rescued crew, mem uh, crew members are. There's all the the trinkets that I've collected, so I've only collected a few. Um, yeah, because you actually have to look for a couple of them. Some some of them are just hidden; they're not difficult to find, and others are actually hard to just to get. Um, so yeah, those, this is like the the cruise ship. Okay, now there's yeah, see that little red one over there. That's where you were, and that there's one. There's one more to find. There's one more member to find. I'm trying to figure out the way to go. I have to find Radus or Veridus. Okay, see, so I'm making sure with a map to see if I'm going to an area where I haven't been. Like here, maybe, to the left. Just check. Wait, what is there? Okay, so he was there. Oh, oh I think but I'm, I think this is the right one because coming out to the other side of the map. What? No. Yeah, I see, so, and then, okay, and this one actually also teleports you to different areas of the map. So... This one's a bit tricky. So trying to get to the center. That teleporter. Oh, what? Teleport again, and then it moves you again. Another side of the map. Moves you again. Okay, and once more. And then there you have it, that's the last one. Come on, let this be going out. So I can go this way or I can I really hope another one is made of this, of this series. Um, there probably won't be, but I really, really enjoyed it. And it, uh, and it's something very special, like... Uh, like if you thought, like there, I, I thought I was looping. 
but I wasn't. It was actually just did exactly the same frame. But look. Okay, but here is here is the last area. This is one of my favorite areas. This one, because it's it's to do with the simple frame, but you see, it's where you come out like that. The map is stitched together, so if you drop in there, yeah, you can see. And then it used then the game uses its um, game game uses the uh, the properties of this area to create your your puzzle um, platforming pieces. Like for example, over here. So, so this one you can either go up or down and do it because I try to do it in reverse. But I think it would probably be easier to do it downwards. But yeah, see, so you, you need to build up some momentum before you go to the to your to your right. So you this the first one is alright, but the second one you sort of need to like hug the wall before you before you jump out at the bottom. Of no. the, the area again, and then this one was okay. And there you see, then it's stitched again. Like that. So you go there. See, because this one's just like a little bit of mind, mind, you know, puzzling. Okay, and this one also, if you fall down, you get, you come up there. You see, so, so you have to f flip, land on the bottom, and then land on the top again. Look there, see, and then flip, and then come out of the see, like that. And that's very special, like I think it's really cool. Um, and platformers like these aren't aren't that common. Um, well at least not to my knowledge, I mean. And I should know. Uh, I'm I'm not familiar with too many of these. Because it I mean it takes a lot of creativity to make this. It's it's not it's not easy. Like as you can see, like if you can guess where I'm supposed to go now, there, see. And here you just fall like that and go through here. No, no, no. This one, okay, this one's not just no, moving, moving a bit. Not that hard. <laughs> or is it? Sort of have to go in between, you know. Yes. There we go. And then you fall down here. Come up there and threw up. <laughs> oh, got that right there. Yeah. Okay, and here you have to f uh, flip, so you have to fall with it, you know, like that. There you go. Okay. The other day I was chased down a hallway by a giant cube with a word of void on it. These security measures have gone too far. Okay, and this one you have to run like that. Go. And this one you have to fall upwards and then until you have enough momentum. If you don't have you don't have enough momentum for oh there we go. So see you time it. Oh so you only time it, okay, it's just timing. It's by teleporter. Difficult to authorize personal Okay. Oh and this then there was a trinket but I don't I as soon as I flipped oh, through, I teleported me through here, so then it was I could go get, go back and get it. And here I was a little confused, and then I realized you have to flip like that. Oh. See, like that. There you go. And then go through here. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so here you have to go to the left, up, and then... I'm not actually sure now, left, up, oh yeah, and then down. Left, up, and then continue to go to the left, you are down here, oh, and then flip up, and then flip up. Okay, and then up, down, oh, okay, just straight down, straight down, and up again to land at the top bit there in the right corner. Or at the bottom, oh dear. I don't know. That was correct. <laughs> okay, flip it. Yeah. 
yes, and then flip again up, right? So you come out to the bottom there, and then yeah, and then flip into the teleporter. Okay, yeah, I have to, I have to apologize for this section. I died quite a bit here. This is a, this is a difficult section, man. Don't, uh, don't blame me. This section, this section is difficult part here. Okay, but I also only realized later when I was watching the video, I could just have um, flipped here and then just walked off. Like normally, then I would have, then it would have been easier instead of trying to do it upside down. Or flip first. Because my idea was that, I had to, for some strange reason, I had to be upside down and then flip. You didn't need to, you could just flip and then just walk off. So, so my timing was harder than it was supposed to be. But as you can see, this is a difficult section. There's, there's two, there's hearts dropping from the top, and they're also coming back from the left to the right. And you have to get through. If you, yeah, if you do that and you get over to that part, this is the hard part because you have to fall like that and then go right. <laughs> and if you go too too right, if you go right too quickly, the spikes will also hit you. And if you fall too slowly, or if you get the timing wrong, the hearts will, the hearts will hit you. Let's see. Oh, this is not an easy section. Because I I do make it. It's just it took me a couple of tries. Yes. yes, see, well, that was the first, yes. but now again you have to dodge the spikes as well as those. See, and I got the timing wrong and I hit the spikes. No. No. If I fall up, I will die. Dear. Oof, so close. No. Yes, that Yo, 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 yo. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Because if I just run, that one will kill me, no spikes will kill me. Okay, okay so yeah. they'll just test it a little bit and. Yes! Oof! Oh made it. Word. Okay, sure. Okay, so this section... I have to go up to the left. Up then, and then just flip okay. up. Yeah, that one wasn't that bad at all. Wow. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got the... Chief Verdigers. Verdigers. He's asking, like, is everybody else okay? How's Violet? So he's actually just concerned about Violet. There we go, level complete, yay! It's an awesome one. And then there's like a bonus... bonus piece. Go see. Welcome back! He teleports and then it's like, wait, where's the chief? Where's Captain Viridian? Where's... oh, no, wait, I'm the captain, sorry. You play as a captain. captain uh, oh dear. He's like, whoa, is anybody there? Whoa. Just a default regular service will return shortly. Let's try and figure out where to go. Because I think this section combines the pieces of the previous puzzles, right. like those those trampolines flip you right, when you touch them. Oh dear. Yes! Oh, oh dear, almost.
So here you need to, uh, yeah, I suggest you start to get some proper height. Here I was confused. Or did I get this one right? I can't remember whether I got this one right. I actually went back. I thought I Oh no, Oh yes. Okay, and I don't know when I flip again. No. Yes, 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 you can do that. Yeah, I was I was properly confused because actually I went the wrong way now. This is the wrong way. Okay, so then I have to do the section again. I was like, okay. I thought it I thought it was the wrong area because I was I was struggling to go left, but you have to go left. Left is right. I come up from here. No! <laughs> oh dear. Oh man. Yes. It's painful to watch. Yes, yeah. there we go. Ah, oh, okay. I should just go to the Wait. No. Bounce. Ah, uh, you just have to hit that piece first. Yeah, hit that piece first. Give up the ground. And then move. Okay, I think I have that. Big. Oof, yes. This one is quite hard as well. Because it takes you a while to, to touch the... To, to land on that... Um, that piece. I'll su I suggest going straight, like bouncing straight instead of going sideways, like straight. Because if you go skew, they're almost guaranteed to hit you. Yeah, see what I've been shooting out there. there. So then, yeah, I'll go back. Yo, oh, that was just luck. <laughs> that was just luck. Oh dear. Oh dear, I yeah, this, this piece. I don't know if it's not. Where are these? Whoa, ho, ho, yay. Last time. Second time. I don't really know where to go. No, that's not the right way. I don't think so. Lift, I think I have to go left. Yeah, here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lift. Lift is the way. Okay, so here you have to use your momentum. As soon as your momentum is enough, then you go up here. Here again. Wow, see these I mean these levels are creative man. Like, this is serious. I think this should go under experimental platform. It's probably where this game should go under. But I really enjoyed it. Like it's, uh, it's definitely something special and something different. Something very unique. So you get to see a lot of things that you don't normally see. That you won't you won't see in other platformers. So Oh no. I have to bounce twice there once. Oh dear, that's too fast. Do this one quickly. No. Yep. Bounce fast because I want to get enough momentum to do that part. There we go. Then, there we go. Dimensional stability generator currently generating maximum stability status online ready. This much will be quite the interference. Are you sure you want to disable the dimensional interference? Lead to serious instability, yes. Seriously, all dimension could just collapse. Just think about this one moment. Yes. Dimensional stabilizer offline. Uh oh. Another level looks like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow, look at this. Look how short that bounce is. Wow. <laughs> look how short it is. 
I do not Yo. Yo, now this, that is very... Very small. Yep. Margin for error. I don't really have a recommendation for this, I mean, you just have to try, because, like, it comes really quickly at you, so, you know, or maybe, you know, go slow, look, don't end, and don't enter it with too much speed, like there, you know, oh, almost made it, don't go slow, so, because you, you can't really see where it is before you enter the next frame, so it's a little bit too close, so you have to, you know, oh, almost made it. And then they bounce. So the one way is going slow and the other one is going fast. Oh no. Oh, so close. One one more. Yes, made it. Wow. Yeesh. Okay, and these platforms disappear. Okay, the, the, the recommendation is here, just wait for them. Don't, don't flip immediately. Like, wait for it to disappear to get your timing right. So here yeah, you flip, flip, wait, and then flip yes. a little bit. Just wait a little bit. Can here uh, uh, touch the line once you get some height, like you need some distance. Like see, you need to only hit it. Don't hit it close. Like hit it far. See, like far. Yeah, there we go. Oh dear. I mean, this is the the, the tower piece. Oh dear. Couldn't get across there. Nope. Down, here we go, up. Flip, flip down. Oh, careful. Uh -huh. Lift. Right. Oh no. What now? I wasn't sure what's going to happen here. Oh yeah, see. That was a little, that's a little sucky. The spikes are still active, so it's not stitched. So you have to, you have to go before the time to the right. When you still have chance like here to the left and now to the right or actually when you're on top oh yeah I think moving to the left is wrong it's a trap like here you have to wait 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 now go right see and then land there or or flip upside down from the right one now I'm looking at it oh yeah you can do that oh yeah you could do that okay so anyway, so this is actually the wrong way of doing it, I'm, I'm doing it the wrong way, so... But it is possible this way, you just, you just have to cut it close, so you... Land on that one, wait, 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 now, yes. see. So there, you can do it like that as well. Don't know really where to go now, so I just went to this one. Oh dear, yeah, this one's very, very tight. There's very, very small margin oh. for error. Oh, and here's okay. another tower, oh dear. Another tower piece. Oh. Always get the checkpoints. Always get the checkpoints. I'm confused. Okay, no, okay, so I flip, flip, land. Flip again. So they don't miss around, eh? I oh, don't know, this one requires you to land on that small piece upside down there. Oh, almost. Yes, no, there wasn't enough space. Couldn't make it that time. And you see, you need lots of speed to make it with that one. Oh no. And then you have to do it over again because there's no checkpoint. Speed, speed. Sorry, quickly do that now. Too fast. <laughs> too fast. Got too much momentum. Yes. No. So, oh, can't bounce down again now.
Yes! Oh my goodness! Oh man, that was Oh, I just had to go to the left. That was so cool. Oh, see, uh, to the left yes. gets you out here. Oh, okay, I see. These ones disappear, but uh, that's, not, that's not that bad. Just to make sure that, because they're close to each other. Oh, so this was actually a trinket shortcut. This was a piece that you did for a trinket. So, out of space. Outer space, no signal. Outer space. No right signal. Here. Game complete. There we go. Congratulations. Thanks for joining me. So, yeah, the game's done now. There we go. See, it took me one hour and 14 minutes. Total flips 2,358. Total deaths 378. Hardest rooms with 30 deaths. Deaths the Graviton. Gee, so if you want to, you can beat my score. <laughs> if you want to, I just I just recommend playing a little of the game. I don't have to finish it. I mean that's why you can watch this if you want to see the rest of the the, the game. Um, any moment now. Ah, here we go. Yay! And everybody's united. Hello, Captain. You're all right. I knew it'd be okay. We were worried when you didn't come back. But when you turned off the interference, we were able to find you with the ship's scanner and teleport you back on board. That was lucky. Thanks, guys. It looks like this dimension is just starting to destabilize. But we can stay for a little longer and explore. Eventually it will collapse. There's no telling exactly how long we have here, but the ship's fixed, so as soon as you're ready, we can go home. What now, Captain? Let's find a way to save this dimension and to save our home dimension too. Because oh, so the Captain is so and superior. The answer is out there somewhere. Let's go. There we go, and then that's the... Oh, and that's the game for you. It's Viridian, Violet, Vitelli, Vermilion, Verdigus and Victoria. And these are the people who made it. See, it's not by a lot of people. It's like five. So, didn't really count. Sorry. Um, but I really, I really hope another one comes out. Uh, it, it's a really, really, really good game. Uh, it's, it's just very creative. It's a very creative platformer. And even though it did, I, I mean, it is, it is difficult. I, I think you can stomach the difficulty for the sake of it being very creative and very interesting. And I mean, it gives you a big boost if you can, you know, you can complete it because it's, yeah, it requires some skill. Thanks for playing, you're really welcome. Thank you for making the game. And yeah, yeah, here's like the, the like an end screen. Like everyone's in a band. Oh, look, it's. It was a bit slow, but I, I I forgot that you can just press a button and then it completes. Or if you hold it, in, it goes faster. Yourself, I was have been updated. Uh, if you want to keep exploring, I've unlocked new time trial, flip mode, unlocked the intermission levels. So there are a couple of extra things okay, that anyway, you can that you can uh, play and check out. But like I said, I would actually like a, just a whole new game with this one. Thank you for joining me, man. This is like that's what's all the time that we have now. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy your day. Please check it out the game, man, and have some fun. Push yourself, and uh, you'll have fun. Thanks.